Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. Right. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring what these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then we'll right. move on. But rest assured, I mean, feel free to put in uh, your questions now because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. We talk about Googling because it becomes the verb, and that's where sure. a lot of business things are done here. But as we point out here on this website, again, if you go to repairyourownlegendnow.com and you sign in there, you're going to be able to see all this information that we're talking about because uh, it's in the right-hand column in the yellow box. But we want you to go to Bing and Yahoo and YouTube. People often forget. People think that YouTube is just a video location. If you start to think of this as a giant database that is just filled with these things, you want to go to church yourself. If you go search us, you're going to find, I don't know, a couple hundred videos, uh, you know, depending on when you, uh, uh, you, know, you actually search for us. Um, you, so you want to look at all these different places. Uh, ask, Wikipedia, is there something about you on Wikipedia? Right, sure, yeah, that's you know, a good point. Those kinds of things. So we want to make sure that, that you're doing that. Uh, if you belong to a chamber of commerce or a better business bureau, what's on their site? Is there anything there where people can fill out a form to say good things about you? And maybe it's not as positive as you think it is. So all of this in assess. Now we've covered what we were calling here on the website, assess and probe deeper. Right. But you want to find out what's going on here. One of the things that you started talking about as well is how much of that information do you control? Exactly. If it's things that we've put out on our blog that are on there, because you search Dr. Mark Cosman, or you search Charlie Seymour Jr., you're going to see 10, 12, or more pages of Google results, search results, on us on material that we control. Um, I'm friends with a, uh, he owns a car dealership, and I just wrote him recently, and I said, look at the first page. You're there three times talking about the cars that you sell. Everything else about you on that page is somebody else telling somebody to go find out about Ex you. Exactly, and that's what we're saying in the very beginning here, that you know, there's three main categories you could fall into when you do your assessment. You know, we've talked about the obvious, which is you find something negative. Well, if you find something negative, then you've got to take action right away. If you find nothing, uh, you're obviously working with a blank slate. So, you know, the bad news is nobody knows anything about you. The good news is that you get to now, you know, take that blank canvas and start creating your legend right from scratch. A lot of professionals, of course, are going to find neutral kind of information from these data aggregation sites that have really got your name rank and you might have your address, your professional information there. We don't want you to breathe a big sigh of relief when you yeah, see that because that's true. not your content. It's about you, but none of that's under your control, as Charlie is saying, which means the minute, and they're also um, not sites that really have a, a strong linkage to you. Right. So the minute somebody with a powerful blog or someone who is you know, going to put things on a very active site, they're going to bump up right to page one with that negative information, and you have no defense at that point because you don't control those things. Again. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Costner. And when you search your name online, what do you find? That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online. 
so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment? You're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, you need to be able to take care of that. And that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here. Go to the registration page. We're going to give you the, our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own legend. You. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So click that link. Go sign up for this webinar and learn how to create your own legend. If there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.